Hey guys, this is going to be the next story. I just want to go get this done, see if we can uh, get it knocked out while I'm gone, so you just can listen to it. Because I will read the story to you, but I just want this as a review. I don't want us to get too far behind the other third grade classes. So get your book open to page 80. All right, so short little review. Remember, our learn target target is to ask and answer questions about what we read and use details from the text to support your answer. So we're going to say if 2 plus 2 is 4, we need to go find the story where it says it's 4. And academic talk, also your vocabulary words are character, setting, advance. Remember, character is a person or animal in a story. Setting is a place or time in a story. Event are things that happen in the story. So today you'll read a realistic fiction story. Remember, a real story, but it's fake because fiction means fake. First, you'll read to understand what she, what the author says and to, and to ask questions about the text. Then you'll read, read to find details to answer your questions to demonstrate and understand of the story. It should be just the story. But I'm going to read this to you, and you can replay this, that I, what I read, so you don't have to reread it. You can just listen to it, or you can read it. It's totally up to you. All right, so this is called Grandma's Secret by Cat Williams. Annie dreamed of being a famous singer one day. She and her grandmother both liked watching competition shows between TV on TV that transformed ordinary people into singing stars. One night, Grandma brought down a small dust-covered box from the attic. I like to show you some old photographs, she said. I think you might find them interesting. One photo showed four girls singing on stage, gathered around a microphone. They were wearing matching dresses, and their hair was elaborately styled. Who are these people? Annie asked. Look at the girl on the right, Grandma said. Annie leaned closer, peering at the photograph. There's peering again. Oh my gosh, Grandma, is that you? What are you doing? Whoops, clicked one too far. I'm singing on a TV show with my group, The Wildflowers, Grandma said. It was about 40 years ago. We recorded a song, and it played on the radio. It was so popular that we asked, that we were asked to perform on TV. Why didn't you tell me this before, asked Annie. Grandma smiled. Oh, I guess it's just a, th I haven't thought about it for a long time. Now it was Annie's turn to smile. So, Grandma, what else have you done that you haven't told me about? Okay, there's a story. If you want to replay it, you can. Questions. What is Annie's dream? What does she want to do? What is Grandma's secret? What is the secret that you find out in the story? If you're not sure, go back and listen to it. You can listen to that as many times as you want. Or you can go back and read it. I suggest you read it. And go ahead and mark words you don't know. You can post them in the classroom under this discussion, and I'll probably answer them. Finish the chart by using details from the text to find answers. Add question of your own in the second row. So the same thing as we did yesterday or second class earlier in the day. Question. Who are the girls in the picture? Okay. To just save some time, you should have know who the girls in the picture are. They are grandma's friends, her little group. So to save us some time, here's what you're going to do. The answer, the girls in the picture are part of Grandma's singing group. They were called the Wildflowers. So you're going to copy all this down, okay? So this is the answer. I just have it here so you don't have to read my handwriting and so I don't have to rewrite it. So that's the answer, and then you're going to have to go back in the story and find where she said it. But it gives it to you right here. I'm singing on a TV show with my group, the Wildflowers. Oh my gra gosh, Grandma, that's you. And then here's a question you could ask. You can find a different one if you want to, but here's one that you could ask. What does Annie's grandmother share the picture? Why does she share the picture? Well, you know the answer. Grandma wants Annie to know that dreams can come true because that's also her grandma's dream, and that was Annie's dream. Your question could be, what was Annie's dream? You should have answered that already. Annie dreamed of being a famous singer one day because she, her and her grandma loved watching those shows, and her grandma was a famous singer. So that Annie really looked up to her for that one. But all of that needs to be copied down because this is blank in your book. I need you to copy this down so we don't get behind the other classes. So to talk, what is one thing Annie and her grandmother have in common? How do you know? Well, they both wanted to be singers because her grandma wouldn't sung when she was younger because she didn't want to do it. You're not going to do something you really don't want to do. Well, then maybe some schoolwork. But since they both had a love for singing, her grandma went and pursued it and showed that uh, dreams can come true. So that means her granddaughter, Annie, can possibly become a famous singer as well. 
So right, I'm going to attach this, since there's different for each classroom, I'm going to attach this in the classroom. And so you don't all have a one document to share. I'm going to give you each your own copy. So you're not fighting over it. So the short response is just describe the secret that grandma had been keeping. Why didn't Annie know about it? It says use space provided on page 84 to write your answer. But I'm going to leave you a document in the classroom attached to the video for you to put your answer. Okay. Each person is going to have a different copy. You're not all going to share one document like we normally do because I'm not going to be here. But this still needs to be done. Okay. So morning and afternoon classes, you'll both have your own document. Each and every one of you will have your own separate document to fill in, okay? And after you finish that, it's just a short review. Ask and answer questions about what we read, the text, and to find details in the story to support your answers. Remember to use academic talk when you're responding, guys, and those responses need to be full sentences. If you need to reread the story, please reread it. If you want to go back and listen to me, scooch back a little bit. It's not hard. You can replay as many parts as you want to. That's one benefit of me not being up here. So I'm not reading it over and over and over again. And we don't have to read it over and over and again as a class. Okay? Now, what's stuck? We're not going to do that because I'm not here. But overall, I hope you all have a good day. This is one of the last things that you have to do. So I bid you all farewell. See you on Thursday.